Hello, everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome to brand new Let's Play Series of Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing Fidel, or playing the uh, the new DLC, uh, Arms Against Tyranny. We're going to be playing as Finland today, because that's what uh, people said they wanted to see first and foremost. So, how many units do we actually have to begin with? We have... I pressed the wrong button. We have 18 divisions, which doesn't seem too, too bad, I would say. But most of them, we, as we can see, are pretty, pretty low. Uh, ignore that this is bugged out. I'm not too sure why it's bugged. I looked through all the mods. I don't know what's causing it, but we'll worry about that maybe in a uh, future episode. So let's get our way up to speed five. Get ourselves a field marshal. We'll go for Mannerheim. Sounds great. And for you, go Heinrichs. That, that sounds fine as well. Can I stretch out a line from, like, Leningrad upwards? Hey, we can. Okay, so let's just go, like, up to here. I think it seems good. For our research loss, we want to go for all of our... Oh, you have a new symbol here. Is it just saying that these are the things that we can research? They just got the little, uh... I mean, okay. But you don't have... Wait, you don't have it. Matching military industrial organization. Oh, do we have a, um... Okay, so this is all different. I have not actually looked to see what the DLC actually changed. Details, details. Do I, like, select one of you? Size, 0%. Research bonus, 5%. Or do we just have all of these and they just, like, slowly level up? You think I... I probably should have looked this up at some point beforehand. Um... We are going to be going for um, a right wing play on our um, for our politics here. So let's go with our basics first and foremost. Instruction, get our research speed up. All that sounds great. Naval dockyards will go with just a single convoy. Seems fine. Two on rifles, one on support equipment also seems decent. I mean, we have eleven factions in total, which is pretty bad. I'm, I'm not happy with that. So, you know what, let's go, like, one military factory in Helsinki. Turn off Fog of War, please, I always think it looks terrible. Let's go, uh, Armenia of Experience, let's get that going. Proclaim Nordic Unity. Controls all Norway, all Swedish, all Danish, and all, all Icelandic states. Okay, so this is basically we reform our own, like, Scandinavian nation. That sounds fine in the future. Let's just draw an invasion plan out. Okay. So, it has been... A, a long, long time. Well, I mean, the last time we played vanilla would have been when the last DLC came out. So it, it's been quite a while. We're not playing on um, historical focuses. I usually never play historical focuses. And that has not changed here. So what are we missing? We're missing a little bit of aluminum. Honestly, it's not that bad. 5.7,000 rifles, 351 uh, sport equipment. And there is now a brand new button. We can buy and sell equipment. How do you actually work? Market access 31. So I'm guessing these are the countries we're actually allowed to trade with. Okay. Market options. Second question automated options you want to have. Auto send, the negotiate market, auto accept, auto accept purchase request. Well, can I just buy? The country of market access aren't selling any equipment right now. Okay. So nobody's selling any guns. So we can't buy any guns. That makes perfect sense. Okay, but I think that will definitely be interesting. We've got to keep our eye on that going into the future. And right now, the balance of power, nobody trusts the current president. No, Nobody likes him. Trust right now is very, very low. What does that actually do for us? Political power is bad. Stability and war sports all bad as well. We could do a motion of confidence. But before we do that, do I want to select one of you. National unity... We get more public trust. We could prepare a military coup. Results 74% on low, 79%. Fascism goes up a little bit more. We're discrediting the democratic system. So, you know, let's just discredit uh, democracy first and foremost. That seems okay. Okay, Italy has declared war on you. Who is that, actually? Oh, it's, on, it's in Ethiopia. Okay. And again, I'm sorry that these are bugged out. I'm, I, I looked through all the mods. All the mods are either updated or they don't affect these little symbols. So I'm not too sure why they're busted. Hopefully, they'll be resolved at some point. And hopefully, if you're watching this, you don't find that too distracting. If anything, me bringing it up constantly is going to be more distracting for you. And I apologize for that. 
So, we could get ourselves a political advisor. Fascist demagogue. I mean, we're going to go fascist, so probably wouldn't be a terrible choice, but I mean, these guys were 70. Thing is, you're all socialists. Germany's enrolled in the Civil War. That is fine. Not communist. It's not democratic. Political power plus 50%. Honestly, like, not that good. Captain of Industry. You could be useful. I, I can see you being useful at some point in the future. You also... 10% stability and 15% negative consumer goods. Honestly, you actually might be worthwhile. I'm going to take you. We cannot take this. One of the following is true. Let's complete the focus prayer military coup. Or all of the fo of, uh, following must be true. More than 60% support for IKL. And more than 6% stability. And we need to complete the focus discredit the democratic system. So we need more than 6% stability. The fascists need to have more than 6%. Okay, well, we'll get there eventually. Political advisor. Daily fascism support goes up. If we want to go fascist, this does seem... It makes sense that we want to get this one done. What about industrial concern? Railway company. I like this. I like the Kia with their giant fish. I mean, you're, you're resource gain, lack of resource penalty. Another negative 15% consumer goods. Can we even take you, though? Because we need the found the uh, Pujan Volma. And where is that actually in here? It's not you. Also, it's Voima, not Volma. Um, can I even take it? Oh, it's down here. Okay, so we definitely we need actually construction three. So it actually might take us a while to get down there, but I definitely think it is going to be uh, useful. We could do no confidence motion. Daily communism support goes down. Personal agenda, eradicate extremists, the less 1% chance. Organize the opposition. It's a negative 20. I mean, we're only we're at, we're at negative 89% right now. Entice the masses. Let's just take you. Let's get you down to negative 100. I'm sure that'll be fine. Okay, Kingdom or Poland has a new king. Hey, there's new music. Always, always nice whenever there's a new DLC to get some new songs in the uh, soundtrack. So you retire, you become new leader. He's an anti-communist. But the thing is, we don't need so. I mean, we want someone who's anti-communist, but we need somebody who is pro-fascist. Okay, we also have research. Let's go with you next. Because it's still, um, still 36. Is there any equipment here? How do we, how do we sell stuff? We could sell trains. We have some tanks we could sell. Price of normal Bulgarian government. So, like, what if we just theoretically sold five tanks on the market? Let, let's just see what that does. As Lloyd of Savar, population goes up. Daily fashion support goes up a little bit more as well. Probably seek German protection. The thing is, is Germany even going to be fascist? That's a, that's a good question. Let's go for um, one economy focus here. Because right now we've got the German junta against the German Reich. Of course, we want the German Reich to win. But typically, whenever there's a coup against Hitler, Hitler typically ends up losing. We get 24. So Turkey wants to buy these tanks. We get 24 industry. Sure. Again, I, I I don't really know how it works. But I mean, Turkey wants to buy these tanks. I see no reason not to. Okay, the military junta is definitely going to end up beating the Reich. They've already taken Berlin, and now that the German Reich is basically split into two parts, there there's no way they're going to make a comeback from this. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty certain on that. But I, I am liking these, these uh, the new soundtrack, though. Okay, also, make sure day and night mode is never on. I should honestly just, um... 
I, I should just get rid of the hockey. So I could just never accidentally press the day and night uh, function. Because I, ne I never think it looks good. Does anybody actually play with the night and day mode on? I don't think they, I don't think there's anybody out here that actually does. So you know what, maybe we do actually want to get the fascist guy in here. Political power gain, factory output, and some more uh, fascist support. Sounds great to me. We can go for next evasion one. A lot of industry techs really early on. Again, I, I always like going for industry uh, as quickly as we can. For 66, we didn't go for industrial development. I always kind of forget that in vanilla, every single focus is always like 70 days. It's always really, really, really expensive, huh? Want to follow up to true? It's currently fascist, which gives us we can maybe annex um, Estonia. I mean, I wouldn't be, I uh, wouldn't say no to that one. We get a new general. Probably want to take arm the Lota as far to afterwards. Once we're done our industrial development, it does take quite a while. Yeah, Vader. No, nobody likes the Corinth. Uh, do I get rid of you? Backed by political coalition. I don't think I do. I, I don't think it actually makes sense for us. Okay, the German Civil War has ended. Germany is now led by a military junta. I mean, Italy is still fascist. Is there any, who, is anybody else start off as fascist? Like, does Romania? No, they're technically start off as not aligned. Okay, what do we want to build next? What do, what do we actually... Is there anything we need? Produce without military organization. I guess we'll take you. Sure. We need a little bit of rubber. We need a little bit of aluminum as well. But we're, we're only a negative one. Honestly, that ain't so bad. Okay, let's build two more factories in Helsinki. Let's just get Helsinki uh, as, as beefy as we can get it. How many trains do we have? Do I need to steal trains from the population? We have seven. I'm gonna take 5% stability hit in order for us to get that, uh, those extra 15 trains. I do think it is worthwhile. Okay, let's arm you. Also, I did see that they just crown Karl V. Wilhelm as the uh, King of Hungary. Which unfortunately means that Hungary might actually go democratic, which, which is not helpful for our game plan here. Which is a little sad. We want like another fa You know what? Just give me another fascist demagogue. We'll probably replace you at some point afterwards once we actually become fascist, but we need to actually- we need to get there first. For negative one, negative one, negative one. It's really not so bad. I wonder, like, by us selling those tanks... Does that just increase this by like 24? Construction costs... The economic capacity surplus contains uh, industrial capacity. It contributes to- okay, so we're basically trading tanks for construction speed. Which does make sense. When you think about, um, like that's basically how the economy in Hoi 4 works. Yeah, we'll, we'll take you. And then for you, we'll go for radio, sounds great. So, Spain is currently in civil war. We do want the nationalists to end up winning that fight. And then Mexico has also broken up into civil war as well. I don't know who we really want to win that fight. Can I send volunteers to you? Your country's not allowed to send volunteer forces? Okay, well, fair enough then. You know, I didn't want to support the nationalists anyway. Because what's the military junta going to do? Are they going to go democratic or are they going to... I would prefer if they revived the Kaiserreich, and then maybe we could still at least align ourselves with the Germans in some capacity. Like, that sounds useful. And I want to get down to you. We do need Construction 3, which is which is a little expensive. But we're going to get Construction 3 at some point eventually, and then, of course, we get our negative 15% consumer goods. Which is just incredible. Like, what are we at right now? 29%? And we're at 29% with civilian economies. Like, it's looking... It's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I mean, it would be better if it was lower, but you, you can't... Can't win them all, right? Excavation 1. I mean, what would actually be really, really nice for us? 
is if theoretically the Soviet Union broke into civil war. Presumably, I guess I'd prefer if the fascists took over in, in the Soviet Union. Um, because right now, right now the, uh, the Bolsheviks are at 49%. Is, are any of you guys going up? 15.81. 5.59. Are you going down at all? I guess is the real question. I mean, the answer seems to be no. It, it seems pretty uh, consistent. I'm just surprised, like, why is there, just, like, so little communist support in um, in the Soviet Union right now? Don't they start off at, like, 100%? I might be wrong on that, but I thought that they did. Okay, so we got Latvia versus the socialist here. So, again, what do I need to do to actually annex Estonia? Must be fascist, or we need 70% world uh, attention. Population factor, I mean, you'd be good as well. Cannot take you because we are not... I mean, are we ever going to take this focus? All adult servers scraping a barrel? Both of those seem very, very unlikely to happen. One penal division gets control. Okay. And it's now March 5th, and we get our very first event. I am so not used. Okay, no... That is a sweet flag. Good work, Norway. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of that flag you got right there. The presidential term comes to an end. Today marks the day that embattled uh, Pierre Evren Zivifund uh, must secure their place as president once again. Despite having served as president since 1931, having enjoyed this uh, sense of record of pop popular rule, his uh, standing was seemingly diminished by refusing to include Social Democrats in the cabinet, breaking his promise to do so. This political faux pas really hurt his chance of re-election, and we find out today whether or not that was enough to topple old man Pete. Okay. Put a power minus 30 or he retires. Must earn a trust of the masses. I'm going to say this one is probably one you want to do. Like, it's a little... He, he has a trust of the masses. I got a feeling this is going to lead to his coup. And right now, the uh, the fascists are very, very popular. They're about to be the biggest party in the uh, in Finland. So we take 5% stability, 70 uh, political power is quite nice. We then go over the union of uh, Finnish brothers in arms. And then you need 35% world tension. Right now, we're at what? 8? 8%? Okay. 30, 38. Do we want better trucks? 177 days. Unlocks trade and military industrial organizations. Okay. Okay. What do we do here? Infantry equipment gets more hard hack and more piercing. Just more defense. I mean, that's a 25% increase to piercing. I'm going to take you. Get that done. Fantastic. Um. Okay. Research. What do we want to take? What do we want to take? It is th mid-37. You're 38 tech. So we just keep on getting all of our industry bonuses. Bank of Island. You need a uh, Finnish Brothers in Arms. So you've conceded to the trade unions. Now, I don't believe that means you're going to go communist. Which is not... It definitely do not want you to do that. Okay, so Latvia is definitely going to end up winning their fight against... Or I guess the independent SSR is going to win their fight against... Uh, the Latvian government. I don't see the way that they probably collapse on this. Close air support. Land doctrine cost minus 5%. What about... I really want you. But until we can actually take that... I guess we'll go for the mining company. The lack of resource penalty is going to be pretty good for us because we are lacking a lot of stuff. Because we don't really have an economy to actually import anything with. Oh, but people are actually selling stuff now. Okay. Total artillery, convoys, rifles. So theoretically, if I wanted to buy all of these, because how many guns do we need? We need some. Support equipment from Turkey. Let's buy support equipment from... Yeah, Max. 
One delivery seems good. Okay. Our offer has been accepted. So if I go over to construction now, three of these are getting used for market contracts. Okay. But we're going to buy some sort of equipment. I do like the idea of being able to buy equipment. I think I think that is quite neat. Especially since, I mean, how many times have we played Hoi 4, right? Where we have like 50,000 rifles in storage. Now that I can actually sell those, that sounds incredible. Okay, so we've got the Soviet Union versus the original Russian government. Of course, we want to support you. I believe you're going to go uh, monarchist, which is beneficial for us. But I will say that at least right now, this has been a good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not sure if you're down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.